presentation is about Motu AVB audio interfaces and how this might benefit your workflow in, in a studio or live setting. We've released a number of award-winning audio interfaces using this new connection standard called AVB, Audio Video Bridging. The latest update, or the latest product, I should say, from Motu is called the Stage B16 box. So think of a very rugged box that you could put on stage, 16 high-quality mic preamps, you know, balanced line outputs. You can, you've got metering on the back. You've got MIDI I.O. You also have a USB connection, which gives you 64 channels at 1x sampling rates. And you can get more cha you can get channels up to uh, 96K or 192 kilohertz. On the front, you'll notice that there's a nice rugged connection there for Ethernet or AVB. So I could put this on stage during a tour. I could run a 100-meter CAD6 cable, and it could join the rest of my Motu network. So you'll kind of get the overall picture here in a minute. And this is the new Stage B16 box from Motu. The Ultralight is a very popular interface from Motu. And this is the latest version. This is the Ultralight AVB. So in addition to having um, updated converters, it's got updated preamps. It also has even more DSP inside the box. So all Motu AVB interfaces have onboard processing for effects. With a 48-channel mixer built in, compression, EQ, limiting, reverb built into the box. So this is the ultralight, great metering, great sound quality, great build. And of course, since, it's in, since the AVB started and, and was shipping, we've won all sorts of awards. Electronic Musician Magazine, Mix, Pro Audio Review have given us Editor's Choice Awards for AVB. And on tour, it's becoming the de facto standard. So you'll see all many, many of the tours that are out there right now are using it. Beyonce, her crew is using AVB, Usher, the Van Halen guys are using AVB. Miley. You can see the list kind of goes on and on. John Legend and Adam Lambert and Seal. So all these tours are using Motu interfaces to, uh, to run back the tour systems. So we're going to kind of peek behind the curtain for a moment and look at one of our flagship interfaces, the 1248. 66 audio channels. You can see on the right there, preamps, balance TRS line inputs and outputs, all the way up to 192 kilohertz. Uh, digital I.O., SPDIF, we've got light pipe, of course clocking in and out. So this box connects to the computer via Thunderbolt. So on a Mac, we've got this Mac Pro here connected via Thunderbolt. 128 channels over Thunderbolt. So it's very wide, very fast, and very low latency. USB is actually quite impressive as well. 64 channels, as we mentioned, at 48 kilohertz, 32 channels at 96K. And of course, we've got our network AVB port. Now what's great is if I connect this network port to a router, right? Now I've got wireless control of this device. In fact, my, my levels maybe could be a little adjusting, so maybe a little adjustment on my voice level. So I'm going to bring Brian Choi up here. Come up for just a second, Brian. And Brian's going to pull out his iPhone, and can you help make an adjustment to my voice, please? So check 111, just to maybe a, just a pinch more, please. Check 1111, okay? Check, check, one. He's going to bring it up in on his iPhone because Brian is on the network that our devices are on as well. So this is great. So here's the thing. It's not an iPhone app per se. Maybe I'm a little hot now. Jeez, I guess we, we've been a little too hot. Thank you. So it's not an app that he's running per se, but a browser, right? So if I had an Android device, an iPhone, any kind of browser on a Mac OS or Windows operating system, I can get on and alter the settings for my AVB interfaces. Cool. It's all about sound quality, right? We've got great converters in our Motu AVB interfaces. It's the ESS Sabre 32 chip. These are phenomenal, well-respected uh, A to D and D to A processor chips from, for our AVB interfaces. So 120 dB dynamic range, so that means a ton of signal before distortion equals great sound quality. So just a quick shout out to Dre, who uses our digital performer and AVB interfaces on tour. He loves the sound quality. Here at the NAMM show, we're showing a new plug-in here. This is called Sempty Z. And Sempty will let us generate time code for the time being from digital performer. And we're able to send out LTC from our AVB audio interfaces. Maybe we'd want to actually uh, use it to generate time code for things like a video lighting rig. So here it is generating time code from an A rig. We're going to send it out to, let's say, a, a video projector that's getting time code from it. And now we've got a switcher going to a redundant B system, which is obviously a very common scenario in a live playback tour. 
You've got a primary system, you've got a backup system, you need to lock those in some way. Maybe you could do a uh, time code from Motu's Sempty Z console. Well, let's talk about some productivity enhancements. We're going to go back over here to the desktop. Now I want to notice, I want you to notice something. Here we are in the Finder. In the upper right corner, we're going to go to the Discovery app. So when I click there, this is going to show me all of the Motu AVB interfaces on our, on our area network. So here's the one that I'm using, the 1248-1280. I can custom give it a name. Now basically what's happening here is it's basically going to the IP address of the device on the network, okay? Which is interesting because if you set up a satellite AVB system somewhere remote, let's say in another state, if you could VPN into that system, you could alter the routing settings from afar. So let's say you're doing an install for a theme park and you've got all these trim settings and playback settings. You jump on the network, get in VPN, make all the adjustments because something's too loud. You don't have to get in, on, in a plane to do it. You can just log in over the network. So this is basically the discovery app where I can get to the settings on my device. So I've got it clicked on the 1248. Under device, if I scroll to the top, I can save configurations. We can get into sample rate, clocking. Um, I can do my trim levels for inputs and outputs. You can see main level, phones. Now a single AVB stream is eight channels of digital audio. So I can have 16 streams, many, many channels over AVB. And down below, you can see I can enable and disable banks on input and output. If I go to the routing matrix, this is a grid that shows all the inputs and outputs. So a very, very flexible routing. So if I have multiple inputs or multi going to, or I have multiple inputs going to the same output, I can basically route them into our mixing environment to sum them. So if I go to mixing, this is where we have built in, remember the 48 channel mixer we mentioned with the DSP? I've got EQ, gate, compressor, I've got reverbs built into the mixer on your AVB interface. So let's say in a more practical way, you're just a musician in your studio, you want a great converter box that's Thunderbolt. But you know, you've got a vocalist coming over to the studio and you want a little reverb on the vocal. You could open it up in your DAW, but maybe you have your buffer set high and there's a little bit of latency. You could open up the AVB mixer, you could add the reverb, sounds really good. And so you have a choice of printing the reverb into the DAW, or you can just monitor the reverb. Does that make sense? We've got effects built in to our mixing environment. So a brand new feature that we're showing here at the NAMM show is what's called EQ Graph. So if I enable any bands here in the EQ, down below, I can just click on this graph, and now you can see I've enabled two bands, but I've got parametric control of high and low filters, you know, mid bands, and so on and so forth. So it's cool. We have a quick way to visually see those controls in the mixer. So a little farther down, we're going to enable the compressor. I click on it. Oh, that's actually the EQ band. Let's click here. And I've got a visual control over threshold ratio, which is cool. There's the compressor. So those are some new features coming um, very soon around the corner. Free update for those running Motu's AVB audio interfaces. So we're going to get back to our, to our demo here. We're going to talk a little bit about the network. So now this particular Mac is running, what are we on here? We're on 10, 10, 11, El Capitan. And Yosemite 1010, this is where Apple has now direct support for AVB in the operating system itself. So what does this mean? If I have a computer, let's say laptop or desktop Apple computer, I can plug my AVB interface in just through the Ethernet port. I don't need to use USB I don't, or Thunderbolt. If those are already in use, it's great. I can just plug it in. I have a 100 meter run over a CAD 6 cable. So I've got the computer here. I've got to run all the way across 100 meters over there. And guess what? It's going to work just fine through one cable. Now with the next OS, with the current OS 1011, Apple has actually increase their support, offering multiple AVB streams. So as we come out via Ethernet, now we can split into our switch, and we can go to multiple devices simultaneously. So you can see Apple is very much into this protocol and keeps updating the operating system with more features for AVB. So we're going to talk a little bit about networking here and the growing community of AVB developers. Motu was one of the first. Avid has been doing uh, AVB for a while now with the S3 console. Harman, PreSonus, Meyer, Sennheiser, Shure, different companies developing products for AVB. It's an IEEE standard. There's no licensing fees. That's one of the reasons why people want to develop for it, because it's an open standard and it's an evolving standard. 
So these interfaces can also operate as standalone mixers. As long as it's connected to my network, I could just use simply my interface as just a mic pre. Or maybe I want to use it as a digital mixer. No problem. It doesn't have to connect to the computer. It could just operate as a standalone. So here's the concept, guys. If I, if I connect a 1248 to the computer via Thunderbolt, I can chain off the Ethernet port the second interface. The minute I go to a third or fourth, I need a Mode 2 AVB switch. I can use another AVB switch from another developer, but Mode 2 makes a very good one at a great price. So this supports five interfaces on one switch. Now here's the thing. I can go from switch to switch. That's called a hop, H-O-P. I can have seven hops. So can you imagine how many different interfaces could be on one system? Many, many, many channels of all sorts of flavors, whether AES, light pipe, MADI, analog, SPDIF, all these different channel configurations on one big network. Cool, so this is a, a, a basic diagram of two laptops. Now, they're both they're connected to a switch, these different AVB interfaces, but just so you know, both computers can access the I.O. on all the interfaces. So let's think in practical terms. You and a partner are in the same facility, okay? Both writers, composers, and you want to share the I.O. for certain outboard gear. Hey, that's not a problem. Let's say that particular interface over there has about is connected to a rack of analog outputs or let's say preamps or compressors or mic pre's. So you guys are sharing the I.O. and that's and even if your buddy's on logic and you're on digital performer, that's okay. But maybe we want a little bit more of an expandable system. Maybe we've got multiple computers, multiple switches, multiple AVB interfaces. So let's say he's playing back um, from his particular room. This guy is actually doing mixing and the other computer is recording and they're different, taking different streams on the AVB network, right? So it's a, a very elaborate uh, setup here that's taking place. So AVB itself, the spec is two milliseconds of latency, but Motu's engineers have got it down to 0.625. So here's what I mean by that. If I'm just using one channel or I'm using hundreds of channels of audio up to any sampling rate, it's a fixed latency. So you know definitively that once it actually handshakes, it's a guaranteed packet delivery at 0.625, very, very low latency. So it's great, very tight and predictable. Last year at the NAMM show, we were showing Pro Tools running an S3 console, which is AVB, and talking nicely to Motu's AVB switch and our products, showing interoperability between different companies developing AVB products. It's working well. Just a quick shout out to the Chemical Brothers, it was a great band, electronic band, who's using Motu Digital Performer with AVB products on tour. And here's how those guys are doing it. They've got, like we talked about, a playback rig, going in and switch, recording rig, monitor mixes, all on one switch. Imagine they're on tour and they need extra cable runs. Who knows where they're gonna get set up, right? They're gonna be set up in this other room back here and they've got, they can do that because they've got flexibility with the length with those CAD6 cables. CAD6 is a little bit more robust cable than a CAD5e cable, cable in terms of its shielding. So if you're gonna run long distances, best to use a CAD6 cable. Coldplay, obviously one of the biggest bands out there, is using Motu AVB interfaces. Check out their setup. Drum mics going in here, 16A, so the guys can locally listen via monitor to a switch. The drum samples are getting triggered. They've got a, 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 an area network switch here, MADI. Um, I mean, it's, it's a very elaborate setup where you can have it all going for, so not, not so much even for just playing back the sound from the tours, but for triggering samples and doing all the sub-mixing, in-ear monitors, you get the concept. We're gonna kind of wrap up. That was just sort of a quick general tour of AVB. We have technicians at the booth who are experts on AVB, so if you have a particular application in mind, come ask us questions. And stick around, there's a couple more demos today. Thank you for being here, have a good rest of your day, thank you.